I think one of the hardest things for us to comprehend is that this person never even cared about us. But it's really hard because it's so painful for us. How can you be in a relationship and this person just doesn't care? Just goes to show they don't have a heart that they don't feel. I'm going to be exploring this in the video. Hello and welcome back. Now I know this video is going to be a bit of a heartfelt one, going to be a bit of a painful one to hear, but nevertheless, the truth will always set you free and this is something that I feel will help a lot of you to move forward to get to the other side or help you to move forward in this. But before I get into the video, I just quickly wanna say that I do go live on this channel once a week, and if you have any questions or there's anything on your mind, I would say join the live because I probably will answer your question there and then. And we also have a wonderful community on the live chat. You need to check it out. So if you want more information, please see the description box below. So that statement, the narcissist doesn't care about losing you. The one thing that you have to remember is that the narcissist doesn't feel connected to anything or anyone. It's kind of like they are apathetic and don't really understand or can feel another person or connected to anything. They don't feel like they're part of anything. So if you don't feel connected or part of anything, it makes it very difficult to be able to bond with others, to be able to not feel those emotions. And this all really stems from their traumatic and really unstable childhood that they had, where they had to change who they are all the time to please their parents or to conform, to, to be of service to their parent or their parents. So when you are like that, you lose a part of yourself, you lose who you are in all of this. And the reason for that is because when you forget about your own needs and you want to please another person, you lose yourself. And this is indeed what we had to do for the narcissist. Can you see how this re repeated behavior makes us react this way, makes us feel this way? So it's very difficult, it is really difficult to get past that and it's really difficult for the narcissist to be able to connect back to themselves because if you're disconnected already and you have no idea, you're not aware, this is hard guys, like this is hard for them to realise that this is an issue. And so they reverse those roles and make you feel like you've got to be of service to the narcissist. And so if we look at it now in modern day, where they are now as adults, they don't really understand themselves. They don't really have an identity. And that's what happens in these dynamics. You lose yourself. This is why when you end up leaving these relationships, you feel like I'm a shell of my former self. I don't even know who I am because you've become so amalgamated in this person like they did to their caregivers or their parents that you lose who you are. You don't know who you are. And because of this childhood, because of this not fitting in. They try to fit in. So if you think about it, like let's go back to the beginning of your relationship when they were love bombing you, when they were mirroring you, wanting to be you. What are they doing? They're trying to pull you in. They're trying to be you. They're trying to get you to fall in love with them. And it's not that they mean it. It's not that it's something that represents them. It's just they are an image or a representation of what you would want so that you fall in love with them so that you don't leave. So if this is how you look at people, if this is how you conduct yourself because you don't feel connected to anything, you're going to try and fit in. You're going to try and make that person fall in love with you because you don't want them to leave you. And that is the dynamic of what's going on here. Okay, so they don't want you to leave, but they also don't feel connected to you, but they also don't care about losing you because people are transactional. And I know that's really, that is one of the hardest things to kind of 
understanding this whole dynamic that people are transactional. So you are replaceable and they will replace you because they're not connected to you or to anybody. Their friends are transactional, their relationships are transactional, their whole life is transactional. No, but look, they try to keep you for as long as possible. They want to keep you. It's not like they want to get rid of you because finding new people is harder because you know what? You've got to you've got to make sure that this person is malleable, that this person will conform, will do what you want them to do. There's so many layers, and I know I've talked about this in videos. So there's a whole load of things that are that are going on here. So they'd rather keep you an old supply. That's why they stay friends with their exes. You know, because it's a sure thing. Okay, it's easy. It's, you don't have to work so hard. And that's why they do it. Because they don't want to work so hard. They don't want to work hard to get your attention, to get supply from you. So you see, this is a massive part of it. Also to that fact is they don't want to lose you because you provide them something that nobody else does. So they want to keep that going for as long as possible. But they're not connected to you because you're transactional. And they're not afraid of losing it because they believe that you belong to them anyway. That's how they see it. This is the misplacement of attachment and so when you believe that someone belongs to you you see them as an object objectification transactional you're an object you provide a service you're replaceable i can get this or do this and find someone else who will do this for me so you provide them something what can you do for me that is what transaction is when you objectify a person you see them as someone of service. When you objectify someone, you are unable to connect to them on a deeper level. Granted, on a surface level, yes, but there is no depth to this relationship, to this connection. It can never go deeper than where it is right now. When you're disconnected and you don't feel, how can you develop this deeper connection with this person? That's why they don't care because they're not invested. You know, and this is really hard because when you're with this person and they're telling you, yeah, 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 we are, we are, we want you, we love you. You believe that it's the same type of love. It's that same emotion that's being exchanged here, but it's not. And it's very hard to believe or very hard to comprehend that this person doesn't feel that same way because they are unable. And this is part of the disorder. The inability to be able to form relationships and interpersonal relationships with others. This can exist on a surface level. No connection when someone serves someone's needs. I mean, we're never really going to be able to comprehend it because for us, it's like, what is this? Like, I really don't understand because we are people who are connected to our emotions. We feel them, we express them. And it's a very normal part of our human experience to be able to do that. But when you are a narcissist, you don't have any of that. You're not able to do that. Although you really want to, but everything seems a game because you're not connected to that person. It's transactional that is the only way that i can really describe it it is transactional it doesn't mean anything it can't go any deeper than that whilst they will have these other supplies these other people that will provide them with this attention they're not connected to them they're not connected to you they've never been connected it's a disconnection it it's it's part of the disorder it's part of the way that they are in the world and their experience, their lived experience, is very damaged. It's very unfulfilling. So when you leave, where or when they leave, they don't care. They don't care because they don't spend the time thinking about it. They don't spend the time caring about it and trying to work it out. They don't care that they've hurt you because they're not going to make it better. They, they don't feel the responsibility to, to make it better. So they don't care.
they don't they're not going to be reprimanded for their behavior they just want things easy they don't want to work hard for it so they just they're oblivious to it and that's why they leave in such a way such a harsh way that you feel like did you not even care do you not even comprehend any of this do you know what they don't think deeply about it it's I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on because there is no emotional investment because everything is very surface level. So that's why they move on so quickly. That's why the next person is lined up just like that. No connection, transactional, objectification. And this is really ch challenging to understand when you are someone who doesn't behave like that, when you are someone that doesn't work like that. But that's how they do and that is how they view what has happened that's how they view what is going on and it's challenging it's very difficult for us to really make sense of it but honestly it's i know it's challenging i don't know how how else to kind of put it into words it's just this there's nothing there it's just a just a void it's apathy it's nothing really matters there's no deeper sense of things so if you are someone that is going through this and would like more information or would like help please know that i do offer one-to-one -one consultations please see the description box below i've also got a mentorship and a journal club and if you are interested in joining please see the description box below i also have a free discord server which is filled with a like-minded individuals, a great community where you can share your experiences, share what you have gone through in a safe space. And if you're interested in joining, please see the description box below. Guys, I really hope this video helps and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.